Hi friends. So this is a question being asked from unit and dimension chapter in 2024-27 January. So it's shift one question actually. Today there are two shifts exam in IDJ men. This is also easy question. Always I used to ask to my students what is the unit and dimension of formula. This is a very simple question. I think you people can do good. So let us discuss this. Statement one. Plan constant and angular momentum have same dimensions. Statement two: Linear momentum and moment of inertia, moment of force have same dimension. Then we will check whether both the statements are correct. One is correct, two is incorrect. One is incorrect, two is correct, or both the statements are incorrect. So let us discuss the dimensional formula of statement one. That is Planck's constant. So you know Planck's constant formula. You know E is equal to h nu. E is energy, h is Planck's constant, nu is frequency. So h is equal to E upon nu. So energy, you know, the dimensional formula is m1 l2 t minus 2, whereas this frequency is actually second inverse, so this is time inverse. So it will become m1 l2 t minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of Planck's constant. Now what is the dimensional formula of angular momentum? Angular momentum L is equal to R cross P. So let's say RP, R is your distance, distance is L, P is mass into velocity. So for mass I can take M and for velocity, actually P is mass into velocity. So for velocity I can take L1, T minus 1. So that will be again M1, L2, T minus 1. So, it is clear that Planck's constant and angular momentum possess same dimension. So, statement 1 is correct. Now, let us check statement 2. Linear momentum and moment of force. Linear momentum P is equal to mb. So, dimensional formula will be, here we have done it, dimensional formula will be m1 l1 t minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of linear momentum. Now what is the dimensional formula of moment of force? Moment of force is nothing but torque. Torque is equal to radius into force. So radius is L1, force is M1, L1, T minus 2. So it will be M1, L2, T minus 2. So it is clear that linear momentum has dimensional formula M1, L1, T minus 1. Whereas torque has dimensional formula M1, L2, T minus 2. So they are not same. So, the statement 2 suggested that linear momentum and moment of force have same dimension. No, this is a wrong statement. So, 1 is correct and 2 is incorrect. So, for this question, choice is 3. Look, this question is being collected from my students from their memory. So, the options may be differ in different papers because you know they are shuffling the question and also sometimes they are shuffling the options in the question itself so never mind about the option but always go by concept check it because you know there are 30 questions in one hour in id exam id j main exam so 30 questions in one hour means there are huge time so you can go slowly make it correct accuracy is important in j main thank you for watching this video watch like share and subscribe and ask your doubt in my comment sections all the best all the best to all my viewers who are preparing for the next jmn exam thank you